so when I set off on my ride from Dallas Fort Worth area up here to Fayetteville I had really high expectations um, that this bike was going to perform extremely well for the long distance because it's got cruise control it's got a really nice upright seating position and overall it just seems like a bike that's going to be comfortable however i was honestly pretty wrong um, before this bike i had the yamaha r6 and it's crazy because that bike was a 2006 r6 that had no rider aids you know no cruise control nothing like that to help you out and honestly part of me wants to say it was better which is crazy to think that the track focused super sport was better at a road trip than the super dude but the reason why i say that is because i was holding around 80 miles an hour i'd probably say average there were times where i was going 90 times where i was like more 70 ish but even at 70 miles an hour for such a long time like the amount of wind that you're facing is ridiculous the r6 the way those super sports are designed you're kind of sitting really aggressive and leaned over and uh the fairings do help a little bit compared to a naked bike like this oh there's a dude it's like a 390 but oh my gosh this thing was brutal like you would have some you'd have a huge neck like like mike tyson type neck if you did it all the time you could so i mean if you're going for that definitely get the super duke i mean it does look cool if you got a really thick neck but um man it was just it was brutal the amount of wind that i faced and it, it probably sets in i'd say around hour two ish two and a half and the whole ride was about five and a half hours um so it was definitely a long ride and and i really wanted to take this bike up to michigan but i got corona um and it, it honestly took me out pretty good i was kind of scared for a little bit thought i was gonna have to go to the hospital because i couldn't breathe but so yeah um the corona kind of disrupted my plans in regards to um riding up to michigan because i really wanted to do that trip and also there were some back orders on a lot of the touring parts from ktm kind of just a all-around rider I want to do everything um, so I try to kind of push the bike 
into uh, that direction. But, but yeah, so if you're thinking about getting this bike or you have it, um, you know, if you're thinking about it and you're gonna do a lot of touring, I would probably go towards the GT. I bet you that bike is awesome. I just don't like the looks of it. I've never really liked the looks of KTM. This is one of the first KTM bikes that I really like the looks. Um, and even then, I think my R6 looked way better, to be honest. That R6 is gorgeous, gorgeous bike. But, yes, yeah, so if you're thinking about it, you want to do a lot of long distance touring, I'd probably stay clear, to be honest. But if you have a Super Duke R, um, let me know. Have you gone on any really long hundreds of miles type touring rides, all day riding, uh, at sustained highway speeds? You know, like right now at 50 miles an hour, this is like nothing. It's perfect. But it's when you get above 70, 80, you start to really feel that wind. So yeah, I hope this video kind of helps you out, uh, get an idea of how this bike performs for highway riding. It's such a beautiful day to be riding. I'm so lucky to be out here. Uh, very, very lucky to be have this opportunity to have free time and to be on such a beautiful bike. So, so yeah, guys, if you have a bike, go out, go ride. Definitely helps reset you uh, in life, I feel like, in a lot of ways. So yeah, go out and enjoy some great roads like these. Enjoy a great bike, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you guys.